Today, we have some really cool things to talk about. Now, the Leatherman Arc is quickly becoming one of the most customizable Leathermans on the market because there is just so many cool things being made for it. So we've already talked about Zap Wizard's holster, and then he's got some other things for the Arc, and we've talked about PC Doodle's light right here, which is really cool, as well as his meter and uh, his two meters, actually, version one, version two. And now we have some new things to talk about the Leatherman Arc. Now, this comes uh, from Kristen Van Patten. Now, I bought these on my own because I thought it was definitely worth uh, supporting him. There we go, on Etsy. And he has his own store as well, his own website. So make sure to check him out. And we've talked about some of his other really cool projects like he made the scalpel holder for the wave and the surge so he's got some really cool things that he has for some of the older leatherman wave multi-tools as well all right so let's jump into the first thing and one of the things that we notice on the leatherman arc is that it does have a thumb stud for the knife but you do not have them for the saw in the file now you do. So one of the things I really like about what he's done with these thumb studs is they're not just your typical generic thumb studs, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I like this upgraded, upscale feel that really goes along with the color scheme of the arc as well. So onto the arc, you've got this black and silver, and with the thumb studs, you have the black and then the silver in the middle as well. And so now you can easily deploy the file, and then you can easily deploy the saw as well. And I'm right-handed, so it's always easier for me to easily deploy right-handed things, but both of these are very easy to use. So again, a big fan of these thumb studs right here. They fit in very easily, so they just pop in and pop out. You just wedge them in, and then the tension holds them in place. Here's the other side. So I found them very easy to install. Now he does have some instructions about some might be a little large. Perhaps they'll need cut down. I didn't, I found that mine fit perfectly. So really happy with these. And these do come in at $9 each. So keep that in mind. Uh, again, uh, these are actually, again, these fit for the P4, the P2, and the ARC, so keep that in mind. All right, now there's two more things, and I was even more excited about these. So this is on the scissor side of the tool. Actually, all of the things will be on the scissor side of the tool right here, the thumb studs as well, obviously. But what you can do right here is he has made a ferro rod for the arc. And again, I think these work for the P2 and the P4 probably as well, but they definitely work for the arc very well. And it looks like you've got a small magnet, which when you put this right in here, it holds it into place. So very, very clever. Now, one of the things you'll notice with the arc is it doesn't have a lot of the handle, the spacing right here at the end, like the surge, the wave, the charge do. So a lot of times you could sort of cut into that spacer and you could fit in objects, but with the arc, you don't have that. So what you can do is just very easily put that in place. And then there you go. You've got a ferrule rod. So very clever, very ingenious, big fan of that. Uh, this does come in at $12. So this will be a fairly long ferrule rod for how narrow it is. Uh, it is a little bit thinner than some other ferrule rods, so probably a little bit larger than the Victorinox Firefly. Uh, again, it is, but it's not going to be a huge ferrule rod, but very happy with that and definitely think it's well worth the money. So fantastic. All right, now the next option is the tweezers. Now, the tweezers are a little bit harder to deploy, but still a big fan of these. You have to reach in, and then you can get them out right there. So they are still fairly easy to get. So these are the tweezers. They do come in at $8. Very slim line tweezer right there. And then how he's been able to get these to fit in 
is it does come with two magnets that fit right there in the bottom. And then I was looking at his website, or on Etsy rather, and the pictures that he shows. And then you go ahead and you take the tweezer in, fit it all the way to the end, and then it does fit right into place right there. So then you scoot that down to the end, and then the file deploys, and it fits right in there. So I just, wow, fantastic. So very happy to have those on the Leatherman Arc. I know they won't be for everyone, but I like, I like all these options. And it's better than me trying to think about how to do it and taping and, and trying to chaw and grind up little tiny magnets. So huge fan when people create these things and make them custom for the Arc. So again, make sure to check them out. I did pay full price on all these. Uh, so keep that in mind. This is not sponsored. I just huge fan of all these tools. All right. So keep in mind Zap Wizard, PC Doodle, and Kristen Van Patten. These tools I reviewed today were from Kristen Van Patten, but there are a ton of people making really cool things for the Leatherman Arc. And today I just found another tool that perhaps I'll get in the future. All right. We'll see you in the next one.